नमस्ते विद्यार्थियों दूसरे में आज जो भी मुस्कान हमारे फॉर्म में डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एंड आई एम वर्किंग हियर एट इन सिस्टम टू प्रेशर एंड जेट इन द पीटी मेंस ऑफ माय सिटी एंड द प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ एजुकेशन सो यू ऑल आर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ एंड सी एडी सेवन सिस्टम एंड योर बेसिक कोर्स एंड इन दिस कोर्स आई विल डिस्कस विथ यू सम इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट मीन इज टी सी पी इको टी सी पी क्लाइंट टी सी पी इको क्लाइंट और यू कैन से इको टी सी पी क्लाइंट एंड टी सी पी सर्वर टी सी पी इको सर्वर एंड ऑल्सो यू डिस्कस अवर द यू डी पी क्लाइंट एंड यू डी पी इको क्लाइंट एंड यू डी पी इको सर्वर ठीक है so these four topics we will discuss just in this session with you and to make it an easy way to understand to all of you i am just want to share some files that will help you to better understand the learning this topic clear okay, so just hold your ear and understand the files here is the uh, yes here is the files which i have discussed yes this is the files in which i will discuss the, these four topics tcp eco server tcp eco clients udp eco server and udp eco clients okay so firstly we will discuss about this one slide what is tcp eco client in the tcp eco client the socket is created and you will know that i have already discussed with you the what is the socket so no need to explain again the socket so uh, what in the tcp eco client the socket is created using the socket connections you can all easily make to the server using the connect function okay so to connect establish a connection with your socket and in tcp a client must use a function to make the establishment of connections with the server uh, that's name is connect function okay after connection is established we send the input messages from the user and display the data received from the server using the send and receive function also okay when ever the connection is well they discovered then what will happen the connection is uh, uh, basically created for transferring the data facts here so the what will happen client will send some messages or data to you and that data is basically read by the server so here you can see that there are two fun more functions will be used one will be the send function another will be the receive function because receive function is used to display the contents which is up received by the server side okay so now if we talk about the udp eco client then what will happen in the udp eco client a socket is created or this in tca udp eco client also socket is created in udp also socket is created then we bind the socket here you can you see one thing that binding the socket and to bind the socket after binding is successful we send message input to the user and display the data which is received by the receiver or server using the send to and receive from function in the tcp you are basically using and receive function but in udp you are using the send to and receive from function okay now if you talk about the tcp eco server so you can see there is one client and another server client is requesting to display the content the server responds to client by displaying whatever the data 
for messages received from the client side. Okay. In the TCP ECO server, we create a socket and bind to a advertised board panel. Bind with a advertised board panel. After binding, the process listen for incoming connections also. Then an infinite loop is started to process the client request or connection. And after the connection request is requested, it accepts the connection from the client machines also and for any new processes. And then the new process receives data from the client using receive function and it will the same data using the same function. Okay. Now if you talk about the on this one, then please note that this server is capable of handling multiple clients as it works in new places for a big client trying to connect to the service. Okay? Now, if you talk about the UDP ECO server, the same diagrams will be used for this one client and then the server client is requesting. Uh, the data to display the server response to client by displaying the data which is received by the client. Okay. In UDP Eco Server, we created a socket and bind to advertised port number. Then an infinite loop is started to process the client request for the connections. Okay. The process which is received from the client using received uh, received from answer and equals the same data using the same data answer okay now when we talk about next topic okay? please also note that this server is capable of handles multiple clients automatically as UDP is a data gram which is based protocol Think no exclusive connection is required to a client in this case. Now, if we talk about the UDP to each client, then what will happen? In the UDP to each client, a socket is created, then we bind the socket. After the binding is successful, we send an arbitrary data from to code data on the server machine and then display the data from which is received and is supposed to be the date or time on the server side. Okay, what is happening here? Listen to my name. In UDP date client, the socket is firstly you have to create a software. And then you are using the client function for establish the connection with that software. After binding is successful, we send the arbitrary data blocks to port 30 on the server side machine and then display the data gram which is received and which is supposed to be the date and time, data slash time on the server side. Okay? Now, if we talk about the TCP UDP ECO server, Using input output mode. We have used the concept of input output multiplexing for managing both TCP and UDP port in the same server. Okay, so here you can see that you know, FD say FDVP. Okay, and FD0 and here is the pointer. It used on addresses of FDPA here is my character so here the you are just going to set the connections with TCP, CTCP, SFP and FDPA and if the maximum TL equals to max TCP, uh, SFP and UDP, SFP connections of both then uh, count uh, waiting for a client and if selected Max PL plus 2 and FDPR dot null uh, or null 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 equals to equals to 0. <coughs> then PL 
ever new select and if FB is set the UDP SFD and FB area they slow the UDP connection is so that you should be connected. Here a struct FB underscore set can be set to monitor the activity to many ports at the same time FD sets TCP SFD and FD VDR sets the appropriate bit in the FD VDR that selects many monitor TCP SFD. Similarly, FD underscore SAT and UDP SFD and FD VAR address sets the appropriate bit in FD VAR so that select many monitors at the UDP SFD. Okay. We also use select system call to monitor socket FD for TCP and UDP servers which are listening to the same port that was in this 301. Now, if you talk about the FD, it checks the which SFD has received a packet. Once this is known, we handle the request as in case of TCP clients and UDP clients also. So, so this is all about your TCP eco clients, TCP eco server, the UDP eco clients and UDP eco server. If we talk more about this one, I just want to recall this all four points once again. See, I will just tell to you. And if we these four points which I have discussed today in this session, like TCP eco client, TCP eco server, UDP eco clients, UDP eco server. So if anyone asks to you that how can you write the programs of these all the things, then you can easily uh, use uh, and then obtain the uh, data instead you can create uh, that programs with the help of firstly doing the algorithm of TCP uh, info client and server okay so what will be done so uh, th there will be two algorithms you have to design one for the server and one for the clients first for the server is in step first you will start in step second declare the variables for the socket which i have discussed in that program isn't it uh, in this program and specify the family protocol ip address and port number also create a socket using the socket function and find the ip address and port number also listen and accept the client's request for the connection and read the client's message, display the client's message, close the socket, and then stop. Lastly, this is happening at the server side. Whenever client is a start, then what will they, they will also start declare the variables for the socket, specify the family protocols and IP addresses and port numbers also. They are also using the socket functions for using to connecting the sockets call the connect functions read the input message and send the input message to the server and display the server's info choose the sockets and finally stop the order okay so this will be the basic introductions regarding these stations and students if you have any problem in this station then please let me know with the what is the problem on this session? So please put your code in the comment section box through which I can solve your problem and this session with the more detailed knowledge about this thing. Okay. And uh, one question will arise through this that uh, please write the algorithm of TCP and uh, TCP eco and server. Okay. And uh, UDP eco and server. UDP eco server, UDP eco clients, isn't it? Then you have to write only the concise and point to point answers, not write them in paragraph. Okay, uh, whatever the paragraph is presented in the notes, that is only for read through, isn't it? And you have to write the concise point to point answers regarding all the questions. Clear? Okay, thank you.